So instead of exporting this out and putting it into Illustrator and basically coloring it or rendering it and putting in the line after, why not just open this, go into Arctic, and be done with it? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to RH Tutorials. Today we're going to learn about how to make a simple Rhino model like this into a diagram um, that is ready to export basically right out the bat. Okay. Um, now there is, I know Rhino 7 is already out, but uh, in Rhino 6 is a feature that a lot of people actually don't know about, but it's one of the most useful things ever and it's the viewport Arctic. Um, now you can see that in Arctic mode, uh, it basically will keep all the lines. It'll basically make everything and override all the materials, turn everything white, but it'll keep up the shadows so you can make easy delineations if you want to export it out to maybe say Illustrator or Photoshop uh, to basically draw in the color or anything like that. But uh, I'm going to teach you a way to do that inside Rhino so you can just basically export that out. So the first thing you want to be doing um, is have a model. So I, I, over here, I built a basic massing model. Uh, it's just blocks with some cutouts. Uh, first floor has different programs than the upper floors. Um, but yeah, I basically delineated all the floors as well as the programs here. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your perspectives tab uh, and pan all the way down to display options. And as you guys saw before, the Arctic view, uh, let me just show you that again. The Arctic view by itself won't actually highlight the program. So for example, if I have uh, yellow as my residential and red as my commercial, it's not going to show that if I just simply go into Arctic. That's why we want to make a new version of Arctic that will actually show all the colors. And to do that, it's to go down into the display options. Uh, and we're going to make a copy actually. So if you have to be clicking on this display mode tab here, and then you're just going to click on Arctic and find a copy. So um, now I've already made a copy of Arctic before. So it's a copy of Arctic 1. Now you can name this anything you want, uh, maybe like colored Arctic or anything like that. Uh, and some of the things that you're going to want to adjust is uh, going down here and kind of going to the objects colors. That's how you're going to get the yellow uh, layer to show as yellow in your diagram. Uh, and the other thing you're going to want to basically check on is, let me find it, uh, the surface edge settings. So this is basically the setting that will tell uh, the arctic mode to draw edges for all your shapes right so if you don't want edges don't turn this on if you do want edges obviously turn this on i'm going to turn this on to uh one pixel that should be enough hey future me here while editing i noticed i left out one thing so if you guys want the colors to show um as the actual colors so let me just show you an example here so if i go into colored arctic uh, you can see that if i simply turn the edges on uh, then these edges will follow uh, the color of the actual object in model space. So let me just check off the lines. So you can see that if it's in model space, if it's yellow, then in our colored Arctic, it's also going to be yellow. Um, now, if you don't want that, you want it to be black, then make sure you guys are checking the option here where uh, we have edge thickness on one pixel. Well, we can uh, turn this to 100 and you can see right away that our edges has changed to black. Now, obviously adjustable as well. If you want this to kind of show up, uh, but not really, you can change that to half. Uh, but yeah, if you want black, you want to turn it to 100. Okay. Back to the video. Um, other things you can basically just leave as they are, but obviously there's a lot more things you can change such as the viewport settings, um, visibility. Uh, you can change all the tangent edges, show curves, and, and show ISO curves. Um, but yeah, a lot of different things you can change, light objects, light scenes, but we're going to keep it like this for now. And also a side note is if you don't see the surface edge settings, it might be because your show curves is not checked. So make sure that is actually checked uh, before you do this. Uh, and we're just going to hit OK. I might name this something else like uh, colored Arctic or something. And that's honestly basically all you need to do, right? So you can go back into here. And then now if I go into the colored Arctic mode, you can see that um, instead of the regular Arctic, which is like this, uh, now it'll have actually all the colors as well as all the outlines, right? 
Um, and the good thing about this is if you want to make a ground floor plan, so for example, um, if I check this off, oh, and my lines. If I check this off and you want to make a ground floor program uh, plan, I know this is not very accurate. This is a super fast model. Um, you can simply just add in the, the lines and it'll show in your program. So if you want to divide the units up, you can simply just draw in this line like this and it'll show up in your, oh, that's a crooked line. Um, but it'll show up in your Arctic view, um, which is super, super useful if you just want to do fast and quick uh, Rhino massing models iterations to show to your professor for desk crit or whatever you want to do. Now, um, the other great thing about this is um, you can just export uh, out of Rhino straight up. And I know a lot of people also aren't, aren't really familiar with this command, but there's a command called uh, go one second. There's a command called export, sorry, viewport or view capture to file or to clipboard. You can see the two top commands here. Uh, one of them captures it to your clipboard so you can paste onto anything else. And the other one captures to file. So let's try the capture to file. Uh, now, a good thing about this is if you want a PNG and you want a transparent background, you can do that right here. Um, okay. I, oh, right. It's because I have a surface as my ground layer. So if I, if I go ahead and unlock this and I hide it, um, then I will do the same thing. So view capture to file and I check transparent background. Then you can see that the entire background has turned transparent. And if you want this on a website or if you want anything that needs a transparent background, you can simply do this. Now you can also turn on a, a bunch of other options, but we're not going to go ahead and do that. Uh, usually I do just export the resolution as uh, 1920 by 1080, but obviously you can go higher and higher or lower and lower, and this is all adjustable. So I'm going to go ahead and just export that to my desktop. I don't know, give it a, give it a name, AA or something. Uh, and one last thing I want to like, well, I like to do with my diagrams is basically put them in isometric or, or if you find a view that's better than isometric, that's cool too. But I just find that if you have multiple diagrams, it's good to put your view all in the same isometric uh, view. So I'm going to go up here and type isometric in the command, press enter. Now it's going to give us a uh, viewpoint and it's going to give us northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. That's just the angle when you, where you're looking at the diagram, right? So it'll have an underlined character. So pretend if we want to, if you want to see it in northeast, you're going to press N and it'll show you in northeast. See how that looks. If that fits what you're trying to show, then perfect. You can just export that. Uh, but if it, if it's not, you can just continue testing, right? I'm repeating the command, um, pressing S for southeast. Uh, and then, uh, you know, if I want to try out southwest, which is not very good, uh, then I can always just go back to something that's a little bit better. Maybe like the Southeast view uh, would be a good one to show here. But uh, but yeah, that's, that's it for me today. If you guys enjoyed the video and learned anything, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next video.